we are battling the 2010 and the 2009 10. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening two more tins, one that I've never opened on the channel, the Blackwing Dragon 10, so that should be pretty fun. We also have a quick giveaway. I will be giving away these three cards. We have two original print rares from Legend of Blue Eyes, and then we have a Manticore of Darkness from Invasion of Chaos. All you have to do, like this video, be subscribed, and let me know which 10 is gonna win. Is it gonna be Blackwing Dragon? Or is it going to be the Power Tool Dragon? We're going to start with the Power Tool Dragon 10. Open this thing up. We'll check the promo out. Open up the packs. Let's see how this one goes. This is from 2009. We've opened a few of these. These actually have some pretty cool cards inside. Wait, let's see if we can uh, hit that. There we go. All right. These were actually sent to me by a viewer to open up for him. So hopefully we can pull some crazy pulls for him. Okay. Let's check out this promo. You guys know how we are with promos. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're... Uh, they're not so good. Let's see. We have the Power Tool Dragon. Ooh, that looks pretty. Okay. Um, am I missing anything? Top corner is a little cut, a little weird, but that's okay. Little small scuff on the back, little print line, but overall, pretty nice condition for a promo. You never know with these things. Pretty nice. Power Tool Dragon. Okay, so uh, we're looking pretty good when it comes to the promo. Let's check out the packs. All right, so inside we have, ooh, first edition Crimson Crisis. And first edition Ancient Prophecy. This means that it is a European 10, I believe. So in the European 10s, you can get both first edition Crimson Crisis and Ancient Prophecy. So this is absolutely insane value. Just one unlimited pack. So we could pull some insane cards today. We have the Crimson Crisis. Let's see what we can pull, guys. Let's pull something insane. 2009. We've got the Telekinetic Power Well. Descending Lost Star, guys. Salt Mercenary, Ivy Shackles, and a Flying Fortress Skyfire. Wait, would it be after this? I don't know. Maybe the foil would be after that or not. We got the Bora. Okay. Okay. Slow start. On to the next pack. By the way, if you guys did not see the mail day yesterday, go check it out. It's a pretty good one. A lot of really unique stuff. And of course, the 2006 tens were all opened on Sunday. And then this coming Saturday, we're opening every single special edition. That's going to be a really long one over two hour video potentially. So make sure you guys go check that one out when it does come out on Saturday. I'm pretty excited about that. Also, we are approaching that 91K mark, almost 100,000 insane. So if you're enjoying it and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep going. We got a soul mercenary, vengeful servant and arcane apprentice. Okay, just a regular rare. That's okay. We got a dupe frog. So two regular rares out of those first edition packs. Let's go into the one unlimited pack. Imagine if there was a ghost rare in the one unlimited pack. It would be like awesome and you'd be like, wow, that was really weird. So close to the first edition. Okay. Rose Tentacles. Fake Feather. This is raging battle here. Mind Trust. Let's go. Rockstone Warrior. We have a super rare. Okay. Okay. We have pulled something. Not insane, but we did pull something. So the Power Tool Dragon 10 now has a decent promo. Let's see. Let's just put out what it has. Decent promo and a super rare. Who do you guys think is going to win? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if Blackwing... What do they have inside? Two Absolute Power Force, two Shining Darkness, and um, one Stardust Overdrive. I don't think any of those would be first edition. So they kind of have an advantage here with the uh, Power Tool 2009 10s. Um, okay. Let's see. First edition Ancient Prophecy. This could contain the Ghost Rare First Edition Ancient Fairy Dragon, which, as you know, there were no booster boxes of the First Edition Ancient Prophecy in American, North America, or whatever. They did have some in Europe, but very few, I think. We have Advanced Draw. Fairy Wind. We got the Core Blaster. That sounds like a, like some sort of workout, um, workout machine or something like that. Spirit Burner. And... Dark Sea Rescue. All right, Cyborg Doctor and White Potent. So far, one super rare and a nice secret rare promo. So, no, I mean, this the, the Shining Darkness, Shining Darkness, the, the Blackwing Dragon tin <laughs> could easily win this thing. There we go. I always want to call them the set, like that the main card is from. Like, I call this the uh, Power Tool Dragon or the Power Tool Dragon tin, the Raging Battle tin all the time. So, there's our workout machine. We got the advanced draw. Blackwing Bane, Steel Chain. All right, that's a plus. That's a plus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's it is, an Ancient Fairy Dragon Ultimate Rare. 
We almost run some special bit. Oh, 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 oh. oh, maybe they don't have a chance. Maybe Black Wington wins this. Oh my goodness, we almost pulled the ghost ring. First edition too. Oh my goodness. Then of course, I mean, they brought us the luck. Blackwing Fane. Unbelievable. Guys, we got to check this thing out. Unbelievable. Wow. We pulled this unlimited for EX Gamer before. And now we have pulled an ultimate rare first edition. There's a little bit of like dings on the back. But I mean, honestly, this card is insane. I don't know what the value of this thing is, but it's probably pretty good. Ancient Fairy Dragon Ultimate Rare First Edition. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay, so that was insane. So it's going to be really hard for the... Uh, I was just saying, oh yeah, it looks like, uh, looks like the Black Wing Tin will have a good chance to win. And then we pull probably the second best card you can pull out of those. So that's crazy. I don't even know. Like, If we pull a Ghost, I guess it would... You would have to say like they still win technically, but I, the first edition ultimate rare might be worth even more than all the ghost rares here. Not like all. I mean, if we pull multiple, it would win, but um, just one. It might be better. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh my goodness. Let's see what's new in 2010, guys. What is new in 2010? Well, it's 11 years ago, so nothing's new from 2010 now. Unfortunately, we have the Blackwing Dragon promo, which we are going to keep sealed because... Uh, I didn't get any specifics about if I should open this or not for him. So we're just going to keep it sealed. But uh, I don't know what kind of condition we're looking at. We got a, maybe a little ding on that corner. A little bit off center. But, you know, pretty cool. Got a couple extra promos in there, which is cool. Okay, it looks like there's another little uh, flyer down here. Special offer. Two free Yu-Gi-Oh cards with paid subs renewal to Shonen Jump. Which they just quit a couple of years ago. They were doing this for many years. You get the Shonen Jump uh, paid subscription. I remember people would buy like tons and tons of these just to get tons of the promos like they would have a bunch of subscriptions and then sell the promos make their money back uh yeah so that was a thing back then okay so let's get this over here let's check out our packs i think they're all unlimited i could be wrong and start us overdrive okay yeah very cool packs here a little variety let's start off with the absolute power force so we're gonna need honestly a ghost rare. that is what they need we need a ghost rare. So if that actually, okay, I can't open this thing, but if that actually happened, I would probably die. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what would happen, but we got to be really careful with these. There we go. Sometimes those get caught. We have a magic whole golem. Okay. Interesting. Triacular. The meteor flame. Let's just pull a ghost here. Fiendish chain. Okay. That's actually a good card. And the chimera attack. The flying mythical beast. I always love that guy. We have... Penis Chain. That's a good card. I mean, it's it's a good super rare. We can't complain about it. It's still pretty decent to, to this day. So not a bad one. We've got a Shining Darkness. Like, honestly, if we had not pulled that ultimate rare in the last pack, uh, Phoenix Chain might have won, won, won the battle. Because <laughs> I think it's better than the other super that was pulled. Okay, this one is from the Shining Darkness. Could we pull the Blackwing Dragon Ghost Rare as well as the Secret Rare from the 10? We've got a Lina, the Light Charmer. Fairy Archer. Phantom Hand, we got some anime going. And the Fountain in the Sky. Okay, Salt Spirits. Very, I mean, look at the look at the cutting on these. It's super jagged. I remember it's that's a pretty common thing with the Shining Darkness. Very weird. They did not cut them very well. Okay, let's go into our one Stardust Overdrive pack. Um, Majestic Star Dragon Ghost. That could be a winner as well. Oh my goodness, guys. Level Eater. Fighter Egg. We've opened a lot of the set recently. We've not had luck with the Ghost Rare. So let's see. I don't even think we pulled the ulti. So Reptilian Spawn. Stardust Zenglong. Okay. Insect Neglect and Time Passage. Two more packs. Two more packs. Let's say Blackwing for the end. Let's go into Absolute a Power Force. Can we pull it? We have a break draw. Consecrated light. Triacular again. Suppay. Okay, what? Suppay? I wish he had flavor text because I'm interested about this guy. And 
Burfamet. So we got the Chimera Tech and the Burfamet. All right, the Biacular. Okay, Biacular and Tricular. All right, on to the final pack. So, so far, we have Blackwing Dragon promo and the other promos and Phoenix Chain versus Blackwing Fane the Steel Chain. I mean, pretty epic. Pretty much wins it there. Super rare. Power Tool Dragon look nice. And then, of course, first edition Ancient Fairy Dragon. Unbelievable. Can you please summon a Ghost Rare? Here we go. The Shining Darkness. Whew. Ghost Rare. Blackwing Dragon. Let's do this. We have a Key Mouse. Anime Hand. X Saber Palamudo. Into the Void. That's actually a pretty good Ultra Rare. So that, that 10 turned out to be okay, but it just can't beat something legendary like a first edition Ancient Fairy Dragon. Wow. Out of two packs, which is extremely insane. Like, that that's just a crazy pull so that it put up a good fight with the blackwing dragon 10 but that was the best power tool dragon 10 i've ever opened and i've opened several of them probably like 5 10 i don't know how many several of them and we've never gotten close to those pulls so let's review them real quick we've got the pre honestly a pretty good 10 i mean great super a pretty good ultra and then a really cool promo pack there then we have uh the best common in the set of course the rockstone warrior not great power tool dragon very awesome and then of course the ancient fairy you can't it's so hard to see this card it's very hard to see it but that is insane insane what an epic pull hope you guys enjoyed this one the 10 battle video if you'd like to see more 10 versus 10 it seems like uh we've had some good luck today so maybe we should try it again i don't know make sure to check out the last couple of videos we've had some pretty epic ones and of course this saturday the huge opening and we are supposed to be battling yu gi -Oh! any day now he's still waiting on his package to arrive once it arrives i've got my video recorded he's gonna record his video and then we'll post it hopefully within this week maybe tomorrow even and that's it for this one guys i hope you guys enjoyed this i certainly did i'll see you guys later peace Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!